He said, the bride is going to whoring after other gods. Is anybody hearing me tonight? And so, praise God, people are seeking power, but they're seeking power the wrong way. Is anybody hearing? He's seeking power, but they want they don't want to go through the process that it requires to get power. Oh, what you preaching, prophetess? Nobody want to go to the door. Nobody want to bring on the altar. Nobody want to lay on the altar for sacrifice. Nobody want to weep all night. Nobody want to cry all night. People don't want to pray no more. So you got the church full on a, amen, on a Sunday. But on the day of prayer, people begin to make excuses to come into the presence of God. And God said, you better watch out because you're allowing the spirit of Jezebel to get a hold of you. So people are desperate, praise God. And they cannot discern the signs of the time. They cannot discern the atmospheric change. They cannot discern the shift in the weather. They cannot discern that the faucets are drying up. They cannot discern that God, praise God, is allowing the money to act funny and the bank account to act dry. Not so that they can run the Jezebel's table, but so that they can run to the presence of God. Am I preaching to anybody? tonight. He allows the fountain to dry up so that you can run to the altar of God and not to the table of Jezebel. So because there is no time, there is no preparation, there is no dedication, there is no commitment to the kingdom, praise God. We misinterpret the sign. We misinterpret the sign. So she will break you one way or the other. She will break you one way or the other. You have no money. She makes you desperate for it. If you have money, praise God, she says to you, relax, amen, take a break. Come on, somebody. Amen, wine and dine. Eat at my table. Because you've got to understand in the book of Revelation now, praise God, amen, when it ends, when the whole story ends, you now see the kings of the earth is now committing whoredom with the spirit of Jezebel. The kings of the earth it ain't now just the people and the peasants. It's now the people and the priests and the kings that you held in high esteem. They are now committing whoredom with the spirit of Jezebel. What is that saying tonight, prophet? It's not it. It's letting me know that in the last days that people are going to trade their birthright. People are going to trade their anointing. People are going to trade it over, praise God, for fame and fortune. That people are going to give it up, praise God, because they want prominence and power. I don't know which planet you live on, but the last time I did googleearth.com and it did my location, it told me I was right here. And it tells me, praise God, if we on the same planet, you got to be blind, deaf, dumb, or totally sign out not to recognize that, praise God, people's minds are changing, praise God. People's minds are changing like never before. People that once stood for moral morality is now falling for immorality. People are now accepting things that God condemned. I know that you don't want to shout it's all right, but people are now bowing down and saying it's all right. I understand that you was born that way and that's just the way it is. But the same people 15 years ago will look you in your eyes and tell you that the devil is a liar. Eating at Jezebel's table. And all out it says the way to a man's heart is through his belly. <laughs> the way to a man's heart is through his belly. You want to get somebody, put food in front of him, amen. 
the way that his heart is through his, through his belly. And so Jezebel placed a, ba- uh, a banquet in the place of uh, the people that were supposed to be saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And they were so hungry for so long because it's been three years now and they ain't never seen a rabbit foot. They couldn't even find a frog leg or a chicken gizzard running past them. I'm not preaching the word tonight. It's been three years now and there's a famine and a drought in the land. I'm just asking a curious question tonight. What do you do when a famine hits your life? What do you do, praise God? Amen. When a famine hits your house, what do you do when you open the cupboards and the cupboards looking back at you with an attitude? Oh, come on, somebody. What do you do when you jump in your car and your car start back talking to you and telling you it ain't going nowhere? Pull me back in the yard. What do you do, praise God? Is that the time to run to Jezebel? Is that the time to run to the world? Is that the time to run to familiarity? And some people that you have as friends with benefits? Or is that the time, praise God, to call on the God of Abraham?